Hello everybody, Jarek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to use tiling windows in the GNOME shell. So to start off, you're going to need to install this extension here. Uh, we cover this in the article, so I'm not going to bother doing it here because I already have it installed. So please check the description below for the links and all of that. Anyway, once you've got it installed, uh, for the sake of it, I've opened up very <laughs> a lot of programs, let's just say. And uh, we're going to use gtile. So the manual way that gtile can work is if you look at this grid here, the grid is sections of the screen. So if I'm hovering over here, I know that this part of the screen is right here. And I know this part is right here. So if I want to scale something on this side of the screen, I would drag about that size. I could do that. That will drag this over here. and. Uh, whatever's in this quadrant here, say this one right here, I could go and set it to about that size. So that's how manual scaling works. It's a little bit tedious, but if you are super specific about how you want stuff set up, it can do it that way. The better way though, and also you can switch between grid sizes if you'd like to make it a little easier on yourself, uh, it tends to make things a little quicker Anyway, there are also automatic modes. So this is a popular mode where you can tile a ton of stuff on the right side of the screen and one massive thing on the left. Another popular mode is equal parts. I like to call it four by four because if you look at the icon here, this is four by four and this is three by two. But uh, so this will automatically tile equal parts and it scales up. So if I delete, and close some windows. And let's say I have, well, if I only have four and I click the four by four button, it'll automatically tile to four. If I have three open, I'm thinking it should, it will leave a gap here. And, and uh, if we go to the three by one by three one again here, it'll do that. Automatic modes are especially, are, are especially good. As, it's got the, the specific modes that most people who would want tiling are gonna need. So uh, yeah, that's how Gtile works, you guys. Um, really quick overview though, just to go back to it. It only really works when there's something open. So you notice it's not opening for me, but as if I go back here and I click this button, it's actually, it's, it's talking with the program that's open itself. So this, if I wanna scale it to the entire screen on the grid, like right in the middle, I can do that. If I wanna put it like, right here. You're basically selecting it and telling the window manager to do something. So let's, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's scale this to about here. And then let's take G parted and let's scale it to about there. And you see, that's how it works. And, and, uh, I would, I would recommend using the small grid because it makes things a little bit easier to select. But there's the eight by six to be precise. There's the six by four. And uh, that's how that works. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a quick uh, quick overview on how to use Gtile if you're one of those people who likes the modern desktop but really miss the tiling functions of window managers like i3. Uh, please check the description for a more in-depth write-up and I will see you in the next video.